Do you think you get wow. to 500 wins at Creighton? Yeah. Do you think they let you be here long enough? To do that? No, I didn't. <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't think anybody let me be anywhere long enough to get 500. So that's a that's a long time. But yeah, you know, it just means I've had a lot of good players here. We had a lot of good players here, you know. And when that game ended tonight, you know, I thought a lot about a lot of those guys. Really? You know, and yeah, a lot of we just had some tremendous players here. So been lucky to work with them. And this is another group of good kids here. Another solid group of guys. And, I was glad to just have a little, you know, 10 or 15 second celebration with them, and then we'll move on to the next situation. But good group of kids, and and uh, yeah, I've been lucky. We've had some really good players here, and you don't win those kind of games without really good players. So I guess before we jump into the the nuts and bolts of what you guys did today, what does it mean to you personally to accomplish something like that? I mean, it's not easy to do. Well, you know, and obviously, long you know. And, yeah, work at a school that cares about baseball. You know, not every school uh, in the country cares about baseball. So I feel lucky, and I, I, I've, I've enjoyed my, you know, this is my 21st year here at Creighton already, so I've enjoyed it. And, you know, I just have had really lucky to work with a lot of good guys, a lot of good players, you know. So um, we had some support from our administration, which is important too. So, you know, you never get into coaching and say, hey, I want to I win 500 games or 1,000 or 800 or whatever. I mean. Uh, uh, but you get in, you know, you get into coaching. Obviously, you got to win some games. Otherwise, you're not going to stay in coaching very long. But you get into coaching for all the other reasons. You know, you get a chance to work with quality young people, and we have a bunch of them at, at our school here. So it was kind of fun. I mean, I, I, I wasn't aware of it to be honest with you until uh, the guy, the radio guy, said it before the game. Hey, if you get it tonight, that's your 500th win. I went, wow, okay, that's that's interesting. And it didn't change how we approached the game at all. But I wasn't aware that some of the players. Had heard about it. People came up and talked briefly about it after the game. So um, yeah, it's something that I'll think about when I get in my rocking chair in a few years. And I'll kick back <laughs> and back. But in the meantime, we got to get going. We yeah. got to keep going. We, were, we got a chance to have a special season here, so we want to keep going. I guess. What did you think about the performance tonight? I mean, obviously, it's another one of those games where the conditions are not necessarily conducive to good baseball, but your team seemed to come out prepared yeah, from the jump. Really, again. really tough and cold again. You know, I was hoping for a little more warmth today. We didn't get it. Preston Church was really good. Maybe even better than he was last right. week against Nebraska, which I, uh, it's hard to say that, but uh, he might have been. Really pleased with how we defended tonight. We made some really plus de defensive plays in a tough uh, situation with the weather. And then very pleased with how we started that game. Very pleased. We came out of the shoot, and you could tell, you know, it's going to be hard to kind of get going. Back to back. Good outings. You probably are feeling as confident as you felt in a long time. Feeling a lot better. <laughs> feeling a lot better. <laughs> yeah, That's, definitely. I mean, did you make any mechanical tweaks in bullpen sessions, or, you know, what's been the difference these last two starts specifically that you think is um, – Maybe something that you know you can carry over from start to start, bullpen session to yeah. bullpen session. And well, like that. first off, last week I did a terrible job of not thanking my defense for making plays. So today <laughs> I'm going to make sure I do that because okay. I made some great plays today. So uh, all the guys behind me, yeah, shout out to you guys, and I appreciate it. Um, but back to your question, uh, yeah, I did make a little mechanical change a couple weeks ago. Uh, I came in back in the fall, and my arm slot was a little higher than it usually was. Um, so I don't know why I forgot it or what happened, but. Um, Finally, just figured it out a couple weeks ago, and I don't want to just blame it on that, but I mean, it's definitely helped a lot. So yeah, the results are uh, the same. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I, I'm getting my fastball, you know, arm slot back, and being able to spot my pitches a lot better, and it's just it, it feels so much better. Now. The last two games for you, especially like starting out, I guess, um, are you putting a maybe focusing more on setting the table from the first inning on, so the I guess the offense gets off to a good start. Um, I mean, that's always my mentality going into it. Uh, I like things, like to get things going, um, help the offense. Uh, so, you know, if I can do it in the first inning, my first at bat, that's always a big thing for us moving forward. I think you got on against Evansville, too, first at bat, stole the first pitch. I mean, what's the, I guess, what's the mindset like when you get on base? Are you looking for the first thing to run on? or? Um, you know, uh, between me and Coach, we kind of just have a good trust once, we, once I get on base. Um, so, you know, I'm just looking. I'm looking for the right pitch to go. Uh, it just kind of depends on the situation and we'll go from there. How, how much? It, it seems like he's given you guys a lot more freedom to run. Do you feel? I mean, have you 
did you put a lot of work into that in the off season just to try to get to time it up a little bit better and uh, perfect, perfect that? I don't think it's just more of a trust thing between uh, our runners. We're all a year older. Um, you can almost consider us veterans at this point. But um, yeah, we're just we're just doing things. We're running better. Um, we're getting better jumps, better steals. I mean, yeah, we're just doing it all better. That's right.